guys. Today we are going to take it down a notch and do some Pilates mat work. So you will need light dumbbells. I'm using twos because in yesterday's workout we used heavier weights. Um, ones, twos, threes are okay. If you're used to using tens or fifteens, you might want to go with fives. But we are doing um, lighter weight, higher repetition to lengthen and elongate the muscles in the body. So here we go. We're going to begin in a seated position, Indian style, or however you're comfortable. We're going to start closing our eyes. So make sure you're thinking about good posture. Shoulders are depressed, chest is lifted. Just relaxing the shoulders, arms by the sides. Let me know if you guys can't hear me in these videos. Again, I'm still learning this camera. So we're going to begin inhale. We're inhaling through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And again, inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. So we're going to inhale positive energy. Exhale any negative energy, stress, or tension that you may have. Again, inhale up. Exhale out of the mouth. We're going to turn to the side. So we're going to, again, lengthen the legs. We're doing a lot of lengthening, elongation of the spine. Flexing your feet. We're going to inhale up. On the exhale, we're going to rotate. Seated spinal twist. So navel to spine. I always think, think of it, it's skinny in here. Like C, a curve. Inhale up. Exhale. So reaching fingertips in opposition. Inhale up, palms together. Exhale, hands to heart center. And we're gonna reach the arms out again, navel to spine. We're gonna lower down one vertebra at a time. Using your abdominal muscles, reach overhead. So we're gonna stay here in a full body stretch. You're gonna point your toes, reach your arms. Again, reaching fingertips away from toes in opposition. Elongate the spine, lengthening the legs from the hip all the way down to the toes. We did our roll-ups yesterday, so if you remember, we're going to flex the feet. Inhale through the nose. As we exhale, keep the lower body grounded and reach forward flexion of the spine, navel to spine, keeping your feet flexed. You can't reach your toes or as far as I can, that's okay. Listen to your body and do what you can. Bring the chin to chest. And slowly come back to seated. We're gonna bring our knees in to our chest. We're gonna inhale through the nose. Exhale out of the mouth. As we bow out the elbows, so as if you're hugging a tree, Navel to spine. Inhale through the nose. Shoulders depressed. Nice posture. Exhale, round the back. So a little tuck of the tailbone, a little tilt of the pelvis. Inhale. Exhale. And one more time, we're going to extend the legs, pointing the toes, using your abdominals. Lower all the way down. Reach overhead, inhale through the nose, flex your feet, exhale, use the muscles in the abdominals to reach, to lift you up, reach forward, flexion of the spine. And lift up, so shoulders over hips, walk your feet back, same thing this time, navel to spine, we're going to lower down again. Try to keep your feet grounded on the mat, feeling all points of the feet. Use those ab muscles. It's a little harder. Relax your head on the mat. So we're going to press the tailbone down into the mat. So you can fit your hand, maybe a fist, underneath your spine, so lower lumbar area, and we're going to tilt and tuck, and press it down. 
So inhale, exhale, four, three, two, and one more. Press the tailbone down. Bring your knees into your chest. Place your hands behind the knees. We're gonna rock side to side. And now we're gonna begin our mat work with the 100. This is an ab exercise. So you're gonna place your feet on the mat Bending the knees at 45 degrees from hip to knee to ankle. You're going to reach your arms up, lifting head, neck, and shoulders, pumping the arms, inhaling through the nose. Five breaths in, five breaths out. Ooh, there went the lights. Inhale, exhale. Keep the breathing going. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. We're lifting shoulders, head, and neck. Try to keep your head and neck in neutral alignment with your spine, contracting those abdominals. Keep it going. Keep that going. I'm going to get these lights back on. Okay. Motion sensor. I might have to do that a few times. Okay, so here you are. Now, if you're ready, we're going to move this to an intermediate move. So lengthen the legs, heels together, pointing the toes out like a ballerina. Keep your arms going. Inhale. Exhale. Keep breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Last two. Keep going. Keep pumping your arms. Try to keep your spine on the mat. If your back is lifting, you could stay at level one. We have one more, or you're gonna leave your legs over the hips. Take some of that tension off the lower back. And now feet down and relax. Relax your head and neck, arms by your side. We're gonna drop the knees to the left for a knee sway. Head and neck rotate in opposition to the right. Knees to the left, head to the right. This is a killer workout for the abs. We're going to be working those today for sure. We're going to hit and target the smaller muscles on the back side of the body, which we don't work as much. They're often neglected. We're going to hit those smaller muscles in the back side of the body. Okay, knee sway to the right, head and neck go to the left. Bring your head and neck back to neutral with the spine. Tailbone and hips grounded. Next, we're gonna go on to our single leg stretch. Right knee comes into chest. We don't want um, impingement of the knee, so we're gonna place the hands behind the knees. This is percussion breathing. Inhale two, exhale two. Inhale, mouth, nose, I'm sorry. Inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. One, two, 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 three, two. Keep going, lengthening the legs. Everything we do in Pilates, you're thinking about elongating the spine, creating longer, leaner muscles, and really engaging those core muscles. You can modify like this. See, I'm tapping my toes down, those of you with lower back issues. Seven more, seven, two, Six, five, four, lifting chest, lifting shoulders, three, two, one more each side. You can really feel the blood start to surface here. Bring the knees in and relax. From here, we're gonna place our feet back on the mat. Again, bending the knees at 45 degrees. We're gonna lift into our bridge. Arms by your side. Pressing the weight through the heels. We're gonna tuck the tailbone in. Again, a little lift of the hip, tilt to the pelvis. 
And we're going to peel up, again, one vertebra at a time. Lift as high as you can, pressing through those heels. The music has stopped. I think it'll pick back up. Stay with me. Slowly lower down one vertebra at a time. Tailbone is last to touch. Bring your knees in. Hands underneath the knees. We're going to rock side to side. There it is. I have it on Do Not Disturb, but I think someone just called. So again, placing the feet on the mat. Arms by your side. Dig through those heels. Engaging the hamstrings, the back of the legs, and the glutes. Dig through the heels, tilt and tuck, peel up. It's important to engage your core muscles. Our core is definitely our powerhouse. Do everything we do, especially in Pilates. We're gonna lower down one vertebra at a time. And release. Lengthen your legs. Full body stretch. Again, remember you're reaching in opposition. So long, lean. Someone's pulling you from your hands and from your feet. Next, we're going to go on to our scissors. So some of you may not be as flexible as others, and that's where I like to call bandage scissors. Okay, so if your legs are not like this, and instead they're like bandage scissors, that's okay. Straighten them the best you can, starting lifting head, neck, and shoulders. Grab behind calf, knee, or ankle, blowing out the elbows to better engage the abs. If you need to relax your neck, any time during this segment, you're gonna relax it down. Just remember, mental strength is important. Think about those muscles we're engaging, and I'll tell you what they are as we go through. Engage those muscles. Incorporate what muscles you can. When you relax your head from the ab exercises, you're taking away from the transverse work, but if it's putting tension on the lower back, it's okay to rest and pick up when you can. Single breath, inhale through the nose, exhale out of the mouth. Inhale, exhale. Again, bowing out your elbows. I like to rotate my head and neck slightly to take some of the tension away from the neck. Our neck muscles are not used as often as you think, so it's easy to get fatigued there, especially in Pilates when we're doing a lot of abdominal work. 